Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today I'm going to take a look at the Game Changers teaser that I told you about from last Friday. I'm going to break down the video and kind of make some predictions and maybe throw some of what I think is coming up with that theme and basically let you see it if you missed it. So if you want to see everything, stay with me. Okay, for those of you that completely missed it last week, last Friday, uh, first basically threw out a teaser on what the you know theme mat, the Game Changers mat would look like, and they made it so quick that you kind of had to stop and pick up certain things. So what I want to do is kind of dissect the video and let you know what kind of things that I'm looking at and some you know some thoughts to put in your head. So let's go to the video. Okay, everybody, I have the first sneak peek at the Game Changers um, robot game mat. I put the playback on slow so that I'm able to kind of take my time because if you can see, the video is only 52 seconds and not all of it is showing you the mat. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video and kind of give you my two cents on what I think is going on with the mat. So you can feel free in the comment section to tell me I'm crazy or to say, hey, Ms. Gino, that, that could be a possibility. So let's go ahead and start this video and just be ready for me to be pausing the video to kind of let you see certain things that if you don't stop the video, it just goes by really quick. So again, it's game changer. So it's all about sports and going out and being active. So let's uh, be ready to take a look at this. Okay, so they're, they're going to give you these real quick, you know, flashes of the board. And I get it. They don't want to give away too much. Uh, obviously, in August, they're going to go ahead and, you know, reveal all the missions. And so what they're going to do is, you know, they're going to give you little flashes of the board. And if you stop the video and you can remember in years past, you can kind of dissect some of this and, you know, make some sense of it. So this first part right here, um, I want you to pay attention to this because I've already watched this video a tons of times. So if you notice this minifig guy right here, I want you to notice that he's starting off where he is right there. I got a feeling when we get to another scene that he's going to be at the top. So I feel like the robot's going to have to push him up or somehow get him to the top here. So I just want you to keep that in mind um, as we go through this video. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this right here, so that'll be coming up. And then you can obviously see that, you know, like every year, they're going to give you some type of line following to do. So let's keep going. Okay, so they're definitely going to show, you know, how people with CrossFit, how they lift the tires. I have a sneaky suspicion you're going to have to flip these tires. For those of you that remember hydrodynamics, if you remember how the robot had to flip the manhole covers, I'm not a betting person, but I bet you you're going to have to flip these tires for something. And then if you notice over here, you notice some type of, you know, being the robot being able to lift this or carry this. So... You know, as you think about your robot, definitely be thinking about ways to lift these, kind of like last year's um, City Shaper, if you can remember um, things that, you know, had this little handle. I believe it was, I'm trying to remember now, it wasn't the bat, although the bat had this, but you had this in base. Um, but it's just one of those things where you have to think about your robot and being able to lift this up. Let's keep going. Okay, so I wanted to pause here because one of my big questions was, is the mat going to be like last year's City Shaper? 
where there was the home over there to the left or the west side of the mat. So if you did not pause this video, you wouldn't be able to see that the mat does not go all the way. If you can see how there's some things like last year where they're off to the side here. So I know that caused confusion because so many people were used to having, you know, the launch area be, you know, straight up against the board and people weren't um, ready to come over here to home. So it looks like there is the same home area like, like last year. So who knows whether they're going to have you, you know, like last year, give you a bonus if all of your robots attachments are over here. That's just my thinking that they're going to continue to do that. So I think they're just trying to promote um, robots not having these giant attachments and, you know, needing a table to put everything on. I think they're going to carry the theme of have your robot be able to fit here in some type of inspection area, but that's just my guess. I'm not sure. Um, so again, that makes the mat a little more congested than normal because before, you know, how the mat used to take up the whole table and they were able to spread out these models. Now they're going to, and notice here, I'm noticing that there's a lot of empty space right here. Usually they do put something relatively close and that could be this model right there. And there's usually always models here in the, the northwest part of the mat. Um, but I, I'm curious why this is so wide open. And then there's those tires that we talked about over here. So what kind of makes me looking over here is there's some models over here. There's one model there, another model here. So the only issue with this is the models, if they're the farther away they are from your launching area, the tougher the mission is. So um, that's just, um, you know, not, not needing to worry about that, but that's just something to um, be aware of. All right, let's keep going. Uh, okay, let me stop here. So there's another item here that can be lifted up. I don't know if it's going to be needed to be lifted up and put on something um, or brought back to home or base. I'm not sure. And it's hard to make out what this is. So, and you know, there's another thing over here that looks like your robot's supposed to pick it up. So, you know, as you think about your robot, be thinking about ways to lift these because that's definitely looking like that's part of the mission to be able to lift these and either bring it to home or put it on something kind of like last year. Okay, let's keep going through this. Okay, basketball. Okay, so you're looking at, this would be the north side of the board here. So I'm trying to make sense of what this means right here. I'm wondering if you need to put this inside of this. I'm not sure. Um, there looks to be an area right here. I'm wondering what this area is for. I'm wondering if you have to put this inside there. It's just a guess. There's um, something back here. Interesting. So, like I was saying before, just, just having these models be so far away from your launching area just needs to be where you're not you need to start thinking how do I get my robot to be more accurate more consistent if I'm gonna have to go this far so just a thought okay um, see a tree here I don't know if that's golf um, a bag just trying to make sense of what's on the mat here Okay, now we're looking, 
we're looking towards the launch area. So again, there's that area where robots usually would come back after doing a mission. So I'm just going to assume that that is in play this year again. Um, see some type of ramp. And then notice that minifig. Did you guys notice the minifig is up here? I don't know if there's another minifig down there. But I'm just curious what that is, if that's a slide or what. So just taking a look now at the mat. I'm sure glad there's no bridge like there was last year. That bridge just made it a lot difficult to um, walk around. So who knows if there's another model that has to do with the table next to you. But here we go. Let's keep going. Okay, these are pieces. I see a basketball, a couple of basketball hoops and nets. Um, so I don't know if, it, if this has anything to do with last year's uh, innovative architecture. I'm wondering. But let's keep going. Okay, exercise. That's what I think. Did you see how it went from flipping the tire to straight to this? So that's what makes me think we're gonna you're gonna have to flip these with your robot. Just just my guess. Okay. I am not sure what this is right here. Um, and I'm just taking a look at this model trying to figure out what that could be about. Makes me think it's it looks elevated, like some type of ramp. This looks interesting right here. I'm not sure what this could be. Um, if you guys remember hydrodynamics, we ha you had to slide something over and something fell. I'm not sure if your robot has to go underneath this. I'm not quite sure what that would be. Some more uh, black lines to follow. Okay, there's the skateboard. Definitely skateboarding is in the theme here. Spending a lot of time with that. Okay, do you see how that minifig is up here? So I'm not sure if there's two minifigs, one here and one down there, or if the one down here is supposed to get up here. Not sure. Just something to think about. Okay, so they're giving us another look at the board here. And notice nothing is super clear and everything is super fast. So again, they just want us to take a look, but nothing is, you know, they don't want us interpreting anything or getting any kind of head start on anything. Remember, that's for August. I'm not sure what to make of this. This seems like one of those things where there's always usually an interactive uh, model to do with the other table. That looks like that could be it because they always put it at the north side of the board because they know that it, you know, would face the other table. So interesting setup here, everybody. I was trying to figure out or make sense of what this was, but you know, like last year's City Shaper, you can only make guesses until August when they really tell us what you're supposed to do here. So you guys can throw down some comments of what you think this is. That's a better shot right there. There is that item again that has the little thin wire or, you know, it used to, we used to have tubing like in uh, Trash Trek. It's got thinner wire, kind of like with Into Orbit. And then last year's City Shaper. Okay, now this is interesting. I'm not sure what these could be. Um, obviously, these are in base with you. And I'm not sure what this can be. I'm, I'm assuming that maybe your robot puts these on things. And I'm assuming that a color might mean different points i'm not sure or if the different colors 
<clears throat> just mean it has to go to a matching color model? I'm not sure. <clears throat> but these are in base with you. And they're giving us one last look at the board. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The Game Changers sneak peek into the robot game mat. So I would love to know what you're thinking. I just threw out what I'm thinking, and I know you guys have your opinions too. So I'd love you to throw it down in the comments section. Uh, maybe throw down what time in the video, or maybe what describe what you saw, and uh, maybe we can try to all come together and make sense of it. But it's exciting to see the mat. It's always cool to just know what it's going to look like for next year. And the biggest thing in my mind right now, again, is that side area. Um, you know, I'm just throwing this out as my opinion. I really liked it um, before last year when that launching area was just where you launched and where it came back from. Um, I, I guess it might be just something we're going to have to get used to. I believe they're moving towards having that home section over there on the side of the board just because they want your robot to fit in there. They're trying to eliminate people having tables and these giant things to store all their attachments. I think they're trying to get it where your attachments just sit in that home area and, you know, we don't have to worry about you cluttering up the, the competition board and everything like that. Um, so I guess you have to just get ready to have it be like last year's City Shaper where you launch from that little quarter circle and then have your robot come back into that home base. So it's just really neat to think about that for next year. So again, throw those comments down if you have any ideas, comments, questions we can try to throw around for that, you know, sneak peek. Okay, guys, I hope that you're excited about next year. I really hope. You know, as we know the competition and how it goes, um, I'm going to be a little bit pessimistic. And I know that they're already starting to plan some type of remote or, you know, computer um, way to compete just in case things don't roll out the way it's supposed to or the way it normally does. So I would just say be prepared for anything. Be prepared to have it be as usual. I would say caution to have it be the way I feel it's going to go. I got a feeling it's just going to be just because the season for us starts so soon. Um, the, us in California, I hit the ground running as soon as school starts. So right now, in my mind, I know that school is going to be an issue on starting on time, which I think is going to mess with the season. But you know, anything can happen. I'm just thinking that's what's going to happen. For those of you that start a little later, I'm a little bit more optimistic. I know some of you start like in January. So I feel the later you start, the better you might have of having a regular type season. But who knows? Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. We got this. We got this, guys. He's out. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.